May we now request Professor Chirunjit Bhattacharjo, our Pro Vice Chancellor, and also our alumnus, to kindly say a few words. So, at first, a very warm uh, good morning to all of you. Uh, at, uh, it's uh, definitely my privilege to share the stage with the Padma Bhushan awardee, Dr. R. A. Mashalkar, and also another Padma Bhushan awardee, uh, Dr. M. M. Sharma is also present. So it's really a privilege for, the, for all of us that two Padma Bhushan awardee is present right at this moment at the Trigunashen Auditorium. So it's a great privilege for all of us. So a great a, a applause should uh, goes to both of them. And uh, on the dais, uh, Professor Rajesh Chakraborty is here, the head of the department. He is managing this particular centenary celebration very well. So I must congratulate uh, our head of the department also. You know that we have started, the chemical engineering department have started our journey in 1921, much before the independence, under the aegis of National Council of Education, Bengal. And we have completed the 100 years in 2021. But due to the COVID-19, we just couldn't celebrate the centenary at that time. So on 2023, now we are going to, we are now celebrating the centenary of the chemical engineering department, which is the oldest, not only in India, but also in Asia. So it's a great privilege uh, to be a part of the centenary celebration of the chemical engineering department. And I welcome all the delegates, particularly the alumni of the chemical engineering department, my dear students. Unfortunately, I'm not in touch with the students uh, so much uh, of the chemical engineering department, though I'm the faculty in the chemical engineering department from the decade of 90s, near or oh, just over 30 years. But since I'm in the administration right now, so I'm not being able to take class, so I'm not very much acquainted with the students particularly, particularly the UG students, more specifically so, of the chemical engineering department. And that's also my agony also, that I am not so much in touch with the UG students. So I welcome all the students, delegates, the teachers who are present here, on this particular auspicious occasion uh, of the centenary celebration, the second day of the centenary celebration. Here I am supposed to talk a little bit about the recent research trend of the chemical engineering department, Jadhapur University. You all know that in the NIRF ranking, the Jadhapur University has secured fourth rank under the university category. That is the first among all the state-aided university in 2022 ranking. So basically, we are having a lot of negative points, lot of uh, fund crisis compared to the central universities or the central institutes. But still, we have secured, in the university category, we have secured the fourth rank on the national basis, and which is the first among all the state-aided university, and that is particularly because of our research strength. So though we are having, we are missing a little bit of cosmopolitan nature, we are having some problem in the inclusivity or some other matrices of the NIR ranking, but particularly we have got a very good marks under the research, uh, under the research uh, component. And chemical engineering department has also contributed a lot in the research components to the university itself. So from the very moment when I joined the chemical engineering department in the decade of 90, I found that all the teachers, the senior teachers who were my teachers, because I was a student in the chemical engineering department in the decade of 80s. So in that ways, uh, I am the, an alumnus of the department also. So I found, I just, uh, I, uh, when I joined, uh, I got uh, that particular sense that everybody is doing research and they are giving lot of importance, particularly on the academics. The teaching and research was the prime component in the decade of 90s. So still that particular research environment is going on, though you are having definitely lack of fund. The fund is a very big issue, but still I must admit that all our faculty members are doing a very good research. So I want to just highlight some of the areas, particularly on which 
the, our faculty members are uh, doing research without naming anybody. And one very important component is the non-conventional renewable or the green energy. Quite a few number of faculty members are doing research on that particular aspects. Another very important area of the research is definitely the membrane separation. The way quite a few number of faculties are doing research on the membrane separation. And coincidentally, that is my research uh, specialization also. So basically, uh, we are working on the process development related to membrane technology. We are working on the advanced module development, as well as we are working on the new membrane developments. So quite a few number of uh, faculties are doing research on nanotechnology, particularly the advanced material development with the added functionalities. So here the nanoparticle synthesis, the green synthesis is one of the very important component. Targeted drug delivery using the nanoparticle particularly, it is also a very important component where quite a few number of faculties are working and nanoparticle impregnated drug delivery, that is also another subject where the, that particular drug component has been impregnated or en encapsulated in the nanoparticle itself. And ultimately, we are working in the research direction towards that targeted drug delivery, which is very, very important, particularly for the treatment of cancer. You know that for the cancer, the, the targeted drug delivery, particularly with the objective to attack the cancer cell, that is very, very important. And in that particular direction also, some of our faculty members are working in that particular, uh, or with that particular objective. Another very important area where the, our faculty members are working is the process intensification. Process intensification is a particular terminology where we can basically increase the efficiency of the equipment and we can reduce the size and simultaneously we can increase the capacity also. So basically we are quite a few number of faculties are working on process intensification. It may be absorption, it may be distillation, the conventional, the core chemical engineering process, it may be the membrane separation because the membrane separation process is supposed to be a slow process and sometimes it is limited by the concentration polarization, that is the deposition of the solute on the membrane surface. So in those particular aspects, the different modern tools or the technology for the process intensification is very, very important. Quite a few faculty members are working on surface modification. It may be any surface modification or the membrane surface modification, whatever it may be, with some particular objective to impart some added functionality or to just increase the strength of that particular material. So that is also very important, the coating. So a surface coating is also another aspect that to prevent the corrosion how we can particular impart the coating on a particular metal surface so that the corrosion can be prevented. So anti-corrosion, so that is a particular subject area on which some of our faculty members are working. And other, uh, there are some faculty members particularly who are working on hydrogen energy, different types of the fuel cell, and with the more specific emphasis on heterogeneous catalysis, photo and electrocatalyst. So these are some of the subjects where some of the faculty members are working, bioreactor design or the advanced bioreactor design. So these are some of the areas where quite a few number of faculty members are working. Thin film composite development, it is under the advanced material. So there are also quite a few number of faculty members are working. Electropolymer is another subject where quite a few number of faculty members are working. And modeling of the chemistry of tropospheric trace gas. There is one faculty member who is working on that particular aspects. She has, uh, she is having the ISRO projects also for that particular purpose. And obviously, uh, quite a few number of faculty members are working on biodiesel, fuel additives, value added specialty chemicals, engine performance, exhaust gas emission quality assessment, and advanced drying technology. So these are the freeze drying. So, the, so these are the, some of the areas, particularly where 
our some of our, uh, our faculty members are working and uh, our head of the department is also having specialization in that particular area though i don't want to name anybody but since uh, the head of the department is always the head of the department so in that particular sense it uh, it, it is always better to mention his field of specialization also and uh, obviously a very common topic where quite a few number of faculty members or at least seven to eight faculty members are working that is the waste valorization effluent treatment plant environmental remediation environmental management solid waste management so these are some of the topics where quite a few number of faculty members are working and uh, on different approach particularly. Zero discharge concept is one of the very important area where some faculty members are working, basically circular economy. That is known as nowadays a very particular common term which, are, which is being used, where there would not be any discharge. Nothing will come out from that particular industry and everything, whatever it is being produced as a waste or byproduct, that will be used. Basically, it is wealth from the West. So that is the concept based on which quite a few faculty members are using, uh, the, the, uh, are doing research on that particular area. 3R concept is a very important concept in the solid waste management that is reduce, reuse and recycle. And these are the areas where quite a few number of faculties are working particularly on the solid waste management because there is a need for the solid waste disposal. So there is a lot of research uh, those are going on how to utilize the solid waste those are being generated, particularly in a city or metropolitan city. The tons of waste are being generated and what to do with that particular waste apart from the landfilling or apart from the dumping. So here in the East, East Kolkata, you know that we are dumping that particular solid waste and it is uh, it is the day to day, the tons of uh, the solid waste are being dumped there. So what to do with that particular solid waste if we can produce some value added components or some byproduct that would be really beneficial and quite a few number of faculty members are working on those particular subjects. So this is a very brief idea about the different topics on which our faculty members are working and presently we are having 18 faculty members, I think, uh, I think I'm correct. 18 faculty members, including me. Obviously, I'm also officially a faculty member of chemical engineering department, but officially I'm on Lien because now I am uh, at the post of uh, pro vice chancellor, as well as I'm having a dual responsibility as the chairman or the president of West Bengal Council for Higher Secondary Education, which conducts the 12th level examination. So because of that, I am on Lien from the chemical engineering department, but I am part and parcel of the chemical engineering department. And I feel somewhat bad that I, I am not being able to physically associate it too much with the arrangements of the centenary celebration because of my busy schedule, but I am always mentally attached to the chemical engineering department. I wish that the chemical engineering department will go ahead in a very nice way in the future days also. So I wish a great success of this particular centenary celebration and I wish all the best for the students, my dear students, and uh, particularly I welcome all the delegates and there are some batch, batch mates of me also who has come here to deliver the lecture. So I welcome and my uh, some students are also there who will uh, deliver lectures here on their specialization particularly so I welcome all of you. Thank you very much. Thanks a lot.